Hello everyone, it's the Saints Man, small van driver on the CX. This is uh, just a short one, just a short one. Uh, just what I was thinking today, what do I do in the winter? As all of you know, if you subscribe to me, you watch my drivel, I'm quite prepared to tramp pretty much up until the winter. And then it gets to a time when it's not fun, and it's not even remotely fun. So... My strategy on working, what jobs I quote on, what jobs I go for, change. And as soon as the cold weather comes and I think, no, nope. I look at the weather forecast. First thing I do at the weekend, they normally give a week's weather. Yes, they're crap. They don't get it quite right, but they get it generally. And like last week, it's going to be cold. It's changed cold. I Last tramp I did was two and a bit weeks ago and it got down to five, six degrees I've got no bulkhead, so I can turn my engine on, warm the back up of the van, and it is toasty warm, and I jump in my sleeping bag, absolutely warm, but when you wake up and it's 5 degrees, that warm suit goes, they're not insulated, the vans, or they're not insulated as much, so it's bloody cold, but because I haven't got a bulkhead, I can just get up, turn the engine on, I've set it up the night before, oh sorry, I've got indigestion, Got the heater on and I just back in the sleeping bag and I'll stay there for 10 minutes and it warms it up and it's lovely. But in the winter when it drops below that sort of temperature, it goes even lower. It's no fun because you get condensation sometimes on the inside of the van and you end up damp and it's just miserable. So what's the strategy in the winter? My strategy, I'm lucky. I'm based in Northampton and I try and stay pretty much within a very close radius, I stick to local work. I try to stick, I don't go no further than probably south side of Manchester. I might go down to Bristol if it's the first job, but I try and get within 50 miles, 60 miles max of Northampton. The reason being, after about two o'clock, 2.30, it's getting dark, it's dark. Four o'clock, it's dark. The light's gone. You start work in the dark if you've got an early start, like this morning. Uh, I just try and stay local. The reason being, at 12 o'clock, you take a job on, say you're in Birmingham, and you take a job on to Leeds. It takes you a couple of hours. You've got to pick the stuff up. You get it on board. You go up to Leeds. You're looking at Arpus 3, and you've got to get home. And jobs drop. We all know on the CX, jobs drop. And in the winter, I think they drop even more. So you've got to get home. And if you can't get home, you're driving home 130 miles. So you've got a plan. Like today, I had a job booked in today. On Friday, there was five or six jobs and there was one to Birmingham. Birmingham is a really good area for work, a really good area. So you know you're going to get a second job. And I'd already decided I was going to stay in the Birmingham area. And I was looking at jobs later from that area, Birmingham, Coventry, Leicester, to see if there was anything, say, three, four o'clock, going to Northampton or near me. And I would have tried and bid on them, even though it's perhaps four or five hours away. And then it forces me to stay local. Didn't work today. It worked last week. I've been on a couple of two days. There was jobs going to Northampton, one going uh, to Wellingborough. And I bid on them in the morning for the afternoon, knowing I'd got my job home. I've just got to get close to where it started but today like you you want to jump what i try and do with northampton if i get a job to birmingham i try and look for jobs around birmingham that's my first priority but even closer back to coventry to leicester to Nuneaton, anywhere around there rugby try and stay there that's the first thing you bid for jobs on them and smaller jobs i bid a pound a mile minimum more than that and i've done that today and I've got more. I've done 30 mile jobs at 40, 40, 45 quid. Because it's an hour, hour and a half. The strategy I'd like to do is that I, if I'm in Birmingham, my second job, I even try and look somewhere like going to Milton Keynes, Luton, Bedford, down to Aylesbury maybe. Because Northampton is midway between. So you can flip flop. You go from Birmingham. You go if you get a job to Aylesbury, 
Well, job to even Hemel Hempstead at a push. Watford, you're still within 50 miles of your home and you've got a longer distance. So you've got more money on that job. And then if you can get Watford, you may get back to Leicester. You can flip flop and you're still close to home. So you're not doing mountains of dead miles and you're going to get home every night. And that's what I've aimed to do. Last week it worked. Today, I did five jobs today. Five. I left my house at quarter past seven. I picked up in Northampton at eight o'clock. I was in Birmingham, the other side of Birmingham, actually, the west side of Birmingham, uh, for half past nine, 20 past nine. I'd got a job before I even stopped. I'd got a second job. A job popped up. I knew the first one was an easy drop. I'd got my second job from Birmingham to Birmingham, 35. And then I got another job and I took one to Leamington Spa, which Warwick, Leamington Spa, Coventry, they all come into it. Uh, so I took that, I managed to get that job at a decent price. I'm, st I'm turning jobs down. Now in the summer, there was jobs from Birmingham, long distance. So you do one job to Birmingham and there was job to long distance. There was one to Glasgow. Uh, I can't think where it was. It began with a C to the left of back, Glasgow. There was a job to Newcastle going out of Wolverhampton. And there was a job uh, down to... Bournemouth and they're all long distance they're all good money and it's just easier work sitting in the van just driving but in this weather when it is bitterly cold it's best to keep moving keep jumping around and I did and that's what you do you've got to try and your strategy in the winter is a different my strategy my strategy it may not suit a lot of people my strategy is to do shorter jobs closer to home uh, if it got very mild, you can perhaps risk a night out, staying out. Hotels are expensive. At Christmas, hotels, I think hotels are expensive anyway. And if I'm driving and booking a hotel and I'm still driving till half past eight at night and then going into a hotel at nine o'clock and I've got a job at 6.30, I ain't paying 40 quid for something that I may as well go use the services, get a shower or I try and find a swimming pool. I've got a card for swimming pools all around the country, which cost me four quid to £4.50. I go for a swim, I get a shower, I'm all fresh in the van, and that's good enough. You're sleeping in a van, yeah, it's not as comfortable. Yeah, it may be a little bit more awkward. But the strategy in the winter is to not go too far from your home. I'm fortunate. I could, I'm in an area where there's a lot of work. I don't see how it works somewhere. If you're in a small van or an even a long wheelbase van, and you live in Norfolk, or you live in Mid Wales, or you're in an area like Lincolnshire, it's a real, I, I could imagine it's a massive struggle, because you've got to take a job away from there, and you've got to get back, and if there's no work to get back, you're dead miling it. So, the strategy for me in the winter, for the rest of this week, I will be staying local, or local-ish. I've got a job already on for tomorrow, I've got it already here, um, I picked this job up in Hinkley, this afternoon to deliver to Reading, uh, not Reading, Newbury. It's a Reading postcode, RG postcode. Newbury tomorrow. Now, I've just said stay local. Newbury to me is about 90 miles, 80 miles. So it's a bit further, but it's got to be delivered before 9.30. I'm going to have that delivered tomorrow at 8.30. Get there at 8.30, delivered and grab a bit of breakfast or summer or if there ain't, I'm looking for jobs. I've got all day. There's no way I'll be taking a job tomorrow from Newbury to Southampton to South uh, Kent, Sussex, Brighton, across to Bath. I won't be taking them. I won't even look at them. In the summer, I'd jump on them. I would try and get them. Tomorrow, from Newbury, I'm looking to get back. And if I can get a job to Birmingham or get a job to Nottingham even, Coventry, good money coming back because I'm going past Northampton and I'm going another, third, say, 50 miles. I can do tomorrow a 130-mile journey back, try and get good money on it. I don't know, try and get 110, 120 quid, something like that, if you're lucky. Get 110, you get your money going down, and you're only 30 miles, 40 miles north of where you live in. So for me, because I'm central England, I can flip-flop. That's that's a good strategy. I, I, I 
I feel for you guys that have got small vans or any type of van that are near a coast and you've got to track, do a 100 mile job away and you're trying to get back all day. You're worrying about how to get back. Your fuel economy is not as good as a small van. If you're in a Luton or something like that, it must be a bloody nightmare. But that's my strategy and it will continue to be to. We've got two weeks. We've got this week's a full week. Next week, I don't think it'll be a full week, even though the Friday's the 23rd. But I think firms will pack up by then and it'll die. I think it'll be like a four-day week probably next week. And that'll be... It'll, it'll just die off. And between Christmas and New Year, unless you've got a wait and return, it, I don't think it's worth working myself. So, that's the only advice I can give. That's what I do. It may not work for a lot of you because you may be in an area where you can't just do local and stay local. Like today, I've got five jobs today in, and I was still home at 20, 25 past five I got home. Um, yeah, all small jobs. I'll tell you what the pain in the arse is, doing the paperwork. Five invoices, five PODs, putting them together, putting all your invoices. I do my invoices every day if I get home. I don't leave them till the end of the week. I did 20 jobs last week, staying local, average four a day. I hit my target just. I don't expect to hit target in the winter, I'll tell you now. You all know my target is a 1,000 a week gross. And I don't expect to hit my target in the winter. If I do, it's a bonus. I try and get 900 plus, but I don't do as many miles. I don't do nowhere near. I did 1,200 last week. I do 1,500 normally. And I've done 240 today. And that's about average, two to two forty. But that's it. That's my weekly. That's my winter strategy. Hope it helps you. Uh, makes you think a little bit when you're booking a job. If you said, "Well, oh, you know, you could be based in I don't know. Say you're based in. Say you're based in Birmingham. You share a job to Newcastle. I jump on that. But if you don't leave till nine o'clock from Birmingham, you go to Newcastle. It's half past one in the afternoon, and it dies on its ass. And it's too cold to tramp, and you ain't earn enough money to book a hotel. You're going to travel back empty? Well, you're going to try and drive down to Leeds. You might get a 30 quid job or something. That doesn't add up to me. It doesn't add up. Anyway, stay safe. It's bloody cold. The roads were all right today. They was a little bit iffy in a few places, but just take your time. The last thing you want is to prang your van in the winter because you just try to hurry. Just take your time. That's all I can offer, really. Anyway, hope you do well, and we'll speak later in the week.